Hello, welcome to the Palm Springs Salsa Extravaganza 2014. My name is William Carpenter. Um, we just finished off our weekend. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Um, Jay, thank you for having us. Um, I'm gonna go over one of our classes that we did for Thursday, I believe it was Thursday, seven o'clock. Um, this was fun patterns, salsa on one, intermediate advance. What we did was, starting off with a basic for footwork, we did one, two, three, five, six, seven. We then stepped across ourselves for one, lowering on count one, elevating on two, placing the right leg out on count three. Faster, it looks like this. One, two, three, just sending the tip of the toe forward, keeping, the left, keeping your body more on the left side of your um, body as opposed to leaning to the right. So that's three, grapevine for five, six, forward on seven. We then stepped forward and went into a left turn for one, replace on two, open up on count three. All your weight finishes on the outside edge of the left foot. Right leg traces through for five. All the weight finishes over the ball of the foot. Pivot on six. Feet together on count seven. Back to a basic for one, two, three, and five, six, seven. So, doing that a little faster. Actually, I'll go this way, doing it a little faster. We did one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, three, five, six, seven. Left turn three. Five, six, seven. Susie Q. Walk, walk, walk. Left turn. Five, six, seven. Basic step. And five, six, seven. We're going to go into what we did on our partnering. So I'm going to ask my assistant Allison to come up. So in our partnering, what we did was starting off with a simple basic open hand position. We did one, two, three. Five, six, seven. Half basic leaders signaling for the lady to do a right turn. One, two, three. Both hands are going to go up at the same time. Right hand is going to be slightly lower than the left hand. Leaders, you're using the right hand as a dominant hand to create the signal for this turn. As you rock back, the lady's going to turn to five, six, seven. Really be very strong in this position here. A lot of times men will get to that spot and they'll stop like this with the wrist being together. It's too close. Um, you want to make sure that it's a very tight position. So we've gotten here. At this point, um, we're going to do an open break. Ladies are going to do a half turn to the left. This is one, two, three. Leaders releasing the hand and placing the hand on the back. We're going to go to this side so you guys can see the exact same thing. So this is one, two, Three, five, six, seven, open break for one, hand comes up for two. Leaders, this is your right hand coming up over the lady's head. Left hand needs to stay completely neutral. Two, release the hand using the full outside of your forearm to push the lady and stopping her on count three. Ladies, when you finish this, you want to finish over the balls of your feet, not over your heels. Oh, being completely over your heels is going to make you fall backwards further. But if you poise your body forward just a little bit, you can now send yourself into this double outside turn for five, six, seven. From here, we went back to a basic for one, two, three, five to an open break. One, two, three. Leaders, we flipped the hand on count two, catching to a hand change for count three. Now, while this happened, we did one. Now, on my one, I keep my arm fused to my, sh to my body. Guys, do not let the arm extend like we typically do for open breaks. A lot of times, guys go one, two, three, and now we're getting into this pulling and pushing of the lady. So keep your back rock short, gentlemen, on this one, and keep the hand close to you. Reason for this is you're not going to use a rock step. Your footwork is back, back, back. But you have to give the lady this, the feeling that you're doing a open break, which means you're doing a rock step. So I want to make her feel like that rock step does exist. So I'm going to go one, two, catching the hand on three. Hand goes over the lady's wrist, knuckles on the inside. From here, I'm going to pull this hand towards me and then flick it out to my right. Ladies are going to do a turn to her left, turn and a half if I'm not mistaken, turn and a half to her left, finishing going back on one. This is five, six, seven. Ladies, when you finish that count seven, finish over the heel of your left foot so that rocking backwards is able to happen. From there, we're going to go to a crossbody lead for five, 
six, seven. Back to basic for one, two, three, and five, six, seven. So we're going to try that a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, 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 cross body lead, and five, six, seven. Thank you guys so very much. Again, that was our Thursday class here at the Palm Springs Salsa Extravaganza. My name is William Carpenter. This is Allison Acard. Check us out at AllegroBallroomOC.com. Uh -huh.